set up former English base striker Paul Harries, who finished off in classic. Well, Arcus was on the end of a move he started as the Sharks look to extend their advantage with the first of three great chances. But in the 32nd minute, the Sharks' efforts were rewarded as Stavroulakis capped off an imposing start to the game to give his team a 2-0 lead. The turning point came in the 43rd minute as Nash kept the score at 2-0, denying Stavroulakis with a fingertip save.
guys. In fact, midway through the half, it was 2-0, with Nick Stavroulakis applying the necessary pressure. Twice. Certainly. Yes, no, certainly. It's a, uh, it's a big pitch. It's a, it's a great chance here for Gann. Look at one this. One-on-one. Save the rebound. It's gone in. Stavroulakis. Johnny on the spot. And against the run of play, Alex Tobin, exactly. Sutherland have taken the lead. We were giving Wollongong a wrap, and then they were, were carved up and... Uh, We've obviously seen the attacking skills of Gann, that he, he gets in those positions from you know, the deep midfield line position, joins the strikers, wasn't picked up, a one-on-one -on -one chance and a, a great save to be fair from, uh, from Passfield and then basically Stavrilakis, the man on the spot bounce. At the end of the day, and, um, we showed that you know, week in, week out and at the end of the day we battled it out and we almost got the three points, you know, that lucky deflection that Jazzo um, pulled out, you know, could have got us the three points that we need and we could have thrown a spanner in the work for the semi-final.